Hi, I'm Jill Hayes at Beechwick Stables. I run and own it here, and we are a trekking business. So we started about uh, 10 years ago teaching children how to ride, and it has morphed into a trekking business. So we take internationals and locals all the way down to Otaki Beach. We trek north along Otaki Beach. We've also got another beautiful trek that takes you to the river mouth and we can actually swim the horses through the river mouth in summer. People absolutely love it. We've also run kids camps. So we've got basically week-long camps for kids and adults where they come and have a full experience of owning a pony. A lot of children who have come here have come here with um, emotional difficulties. Um, often caring for an animal is, um, is chosen responsibility. And adults as well, not just children. So um, what I'd say with horses, it's a, definitely a form of therapy. Two weeks before COVID hit, our business declined by about 70%. So it was pretty scary for us and we thought what the hell's going to happen. We had 18 horses on the property, two days we were told we were going to lock down. Put a request out to the community, we had people taking horses left, right and centre for six weeks which was fantastic for me. I was left with six to care for. I was also fearful that I was going to lose a lot of business because 70% of our business is international clients so trekking was predominantly 70% international. Uh, we came back from COVID at level two and we have had an insane amount of business since. It's almost like locals are supporting locals, which is such a cool feeling. And I've seen how positive it can be in the community. I've seen the effect it has on the community. I've seen smiling faces, um, and I really hope that it can actually continue, and I'm sure it will continue. I think people are starting to spend their money inside New Zealand and not outside New Zealand, and I don't see why that can't continue. So thank you so much, Kapiti. Let's keep this going.